Welcome to Adventure Sphere. This channel is dedicated to missing people who are missing with a vehicle. In the process of creating this database, we are creating a volunteer sonar search and recovery dive team to search for the people featured on our channel. Our services are free of charge. We ask you to consider subscribing, watch your content, and help spread awareness of our endeavor. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline can be reached by dialing 988 or 1-800-273-8255. Calls are free and confidential. Every year, over 600,000 individuals go missing in the United States, according to the National Missing and Unidentified Person System. While many are quickly found and returned to their families, others remain missing as years pass by. This is Jorge's story. Jorge Safala, then 35, is missing from Hawthorne, California. His last date of contact was Thursday, December 11th, 2008, when he left work. George, ne I'm sorry, Jorge never returned home and disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Jorge was driving a black 1994 Chevy Astro minivan with California license plates 7C28697. The vehicle is for a mobile detailing company. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department in Monterey Park is investigating. They can be reached at 323-890-5500. Jorge's case number is 098-13181-0385-400. His birth date is November 19, 1973. At the time of recording this video, he would be 49 years old today. The weather was pretty run-of-the-mill. The high was 72, low was 52. There was no precipitation. The sunrise was at 6.50 a.m. and it set at 4.46 p.m. I do have some questions. If any of his friends or family see this and can shed some insight, it might help us uh, find him sooner. Uh, what were the coordinates of his last cell phone ping? If the family is unable to get this, the sheriff's department should be able to subpoena the records for them. Uh, what is his home address and any places that he liked to frequent? Did he put in any time off requests or perhaps his resignation? Did he volunteer anywhere, attend church? What kind of hobbies is he into? Does he hang out, hang out with any social groups? In his downtime, does he prefer to go out or stay home? Is he an early bird or a night owl? Did he give any possessions away in the month or two before he disappeared? Uh, does he prefer driving on main roads or surface streets, like neighborhood streets? Does he drive at night? Did the sheriff's department check the automated license plate readers? Did he put any calls into AAA, his mechanic, or his car insurance provider? Were there any items that he always carried with him? A ring, a necklace, perhaps a, a multi-tool since he does auto detailing, pocket knife, anything like that? Is he conditioned to driving long distances, say over three hours at a stretch? And then does he have any, have any chronic health issues such as being diabetic, epileptic, any recent head traumas, any prescriptions that he takes regularly? If he does take a daily medication, um, did he pick up his meds after he disappeared and were his medications transferred to another pharmacy? It's kind of a gray area with the HIPAA laws now, but you're not looking for what medications he was taking, just if it's been transferred or picked up. And then what was the place of his last verified financial transaction? A date and a time might help, but if we can't get a hold of his PIN coordinates or where he was last seen specifically, then the receipt might be your next best place to look. The places I'm about to mention are shared with my blessing, so Jorge can be reunited with his family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and search for, or to donate equipment. 
The video of Google Earth has a measurement from our current best starting location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles of their last known location and within five miles of their destination. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. So from Hawthorne, I don't know if that's where his last client was at for the day or if that is where his home is. Uh, from Hawthorne, the ocean is about four miles away. Marina Del Rey is seven, but if he went down there, it's very possible that he could have just gone into the water and not judged the distance correctly. There's the Bellana Freshwater Marsh, Magic Johnson Park. The wa there's water on Crenshaw, I think that's Boulevard, and then the Alondra Park. I had mentioned a little bit earlier, earlier when I started the video that approximately 1,600 people go missing every day in the United States. Your donation brings closure to families with missing loved ones like Jorge by helping us secure equipment and getting us to locations all around the United States where missing people may be found using cutting edge sonar technology. Our mobile unit is able to assist families in small towns that need access to the high-end sonar equipment and diving services. We can also assist large cities as adjunct professionals. We help families, area government, and environmental cleanup efforts, as well as under pu other public safety entities free of charge. When you donate to Adventure Sphere, you ensure that volunteers can continue to help locate those who have lost their voice. Thank you for whatever uh, uh, thank you for whatever support you can give us. If you'd like to help Jorge's family find him, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell to receive progress reports. There's about 45 seconds left of the video. I'm going to let it run through in case you'd like to see the entire search area. If you see something I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and remember that we love you.